G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Having a look at the Hydropack Stash 1 litre flexible bottle. Now I'm cheating a bit, I've got the weights and dimensions and everything down here. Or oh, weights, does it, say, does it say dimensions? No, it doesn't say dimensions. Now I've had this one for about five years now and that one nearly two years it's uh let's see we're up, made out of ultra durable tpu now durability wise i can vouch for this particular one because i had it on the back of my pack uh, when i was going walking section of the building track and i hit a gravel bit and it was a steep steep hill down and uh, i went off my ass flat on my back that was trapped between the uh, gravel and the rocks coming down the hill and my pack and I went probably a good 10 11 meters sliding down that got flipped out from underneath the pack and as you can see a few little scratches on it yeah down there a couple on that side but it's still holding water. Twist to collapse. Now I've got that full of water to show you. So before we go on to the twist to collapse bit, people have complained about trying to drink out of these. Now the problem is with most people who complain about it, they hold it like an ordinary bottle. So when they squeeze that, they squeeze the water all over themselves, or if there's not enough water, I'll squeeze it. Yeah, I'll open this one to show you what I mean. There you go. Now imagine it's got water in it and they're trying to drink it. What's happening when they put it to the mouth is that's happening. So the water is staying down here. Now the tip to that is when you're drinking your water out of this, Hold the bottom, simple. Put it to the mouth. And if anything, it saves you tipping your head all the way back when you've got a bit left. Because you can just flex, hold that there, and then flex it up. And the water that's normally kept at the bottom and you having to tip your neck back runs to the front. So that's the negative part about these, what people say. there all right twist to collapse which let's take this carabiner off i want to tell you about these carabiners at the end of the video this one because they are nice they are good ones but take the lid off there's your empty bottle you don't just push it down, you twist it, and as you twist it, it pulls itself in, and then you push the plastic into place, and that's safely locked. Put the cap on, makes it even safer because it creates a, vac creates a vacuum in there, so it won't get any bigger than that. So that's all in. What we've got, bell handle, there we go. Now I do use that a lot. And that's what I use the carabiner on. And I'll show you that on my pack. They say it's filter compatible. Okay. Weight empty is 107 grams, which is 3.7 ounces. And let's flick that over and we've got yeah let's say it's a 63 millimeter wide mouth screw cap makes it quick and easy to fill flexible walls a tpu carry handle and grip ring create a comfortable carrying experience well i must admit it's, it's a lot quieter than one of the hard plastic ones tapping on you with the way i wear it 
Most compact and portable water bottle collapses down to one quarter the size. There you go, there's the proof. Uh, again, they say, and um, yeah, made of ultra, this is the sidewalls, durable, abrasion resistant, TPU and RF welded seams for superior, superior elasticity. Uh, rigid, rigid top and bottom keeps it sturdy and easy to drink out of. And that's where I go back to you're holding up there, it tips down. Think about the bottom. Easy. What else have we got here? Right, this is just all the advertising spiel. BPA plus PVC free. Uh, beyond lifetime guarantee. And that's it. That's what they say there. Now, I normally carry one of these on the front of my pack now. I don't have them on the back anymore. Now, I don't know why I did it that day. I think I was just trying to find a way of uh, using a certain pack and the actual uh, shoulder straps didn't have anywhere really stable enough to put it. But now most of my packs do have a point on the front on the shoulder straps where I can attach them with easy access to and strong enough to carry them. On the side, what we've got, they just tell you all the stuff I've just mentioned. Yeah, let's see if I can read this one. Oh, it's another thing. They've got a little pulley bit on the bottom to make it easier. No leak guarantee. BPA and PVC free. Temperature is, is uh, the hottest is plus 60 degrees centigrade, 140 Fahrenheit. And they say hand wash. We got in millimeters, and they say approximate volume going down there. Where are we? 100, 200, 300, all the way up to 1000 milliliters to give you the liter. Yep, yeah, they just got the their logo on this side. Like I said, I'll show you this carabiner. So if you get in your country or if you're here in Australia, I'll put links down below in the description box. This is a Castrum antique uh, coloured or antique brass coloured carabiner. It's also known as a dangler, I believe. I like it because we've got a flat end and a round end. And using that on my webbing, let's grab this, my pack, the shoulder straps underneath my pouch on my shoulder straps. I've got space here in the webbing to put it through. Now Where's my other one? Well, I'm going to be using this pack soon. So I want that to hang there. This one's got my watch on. So I want that to hang underneath. And the way I always do it is bring it from the inside out, because this is my personal preference. Yeah, I took that through there and out that side. And now I'm just going to take it around. And now the flat bit sits nice in the web in there. And I'll do the same with this one in a moment. But what we got it. Not to be used for climbing. Now they tested these and they held in excess of 400 kilograms. So that's over 880 pound, is it? But they say in a fall, a fall can uh, create a higher, more than 400 kilograms in force. So they're not constructed for or recommended for climbing. 
and it's made out of an eight millimeter thick aluminium or aluminum depending on where you're from and the measurements are five centimeters by 5.5 centimeters now going back to this they sit really really nice on here Now, saying about talking it up that way first and then going in from the inside, that just makes it easier for me. I've got a preference of if I'm putting anything on my carabiner, I hook it from the inside. So there's that carabiner. The clasp part is there on the inside at the bottom. And the advantage about these is, let's take it back off to show you. The depth of here from where the clasp is, is so shallow, there's no real messing around with getting something on and off. It's a nice, clear, easy access on and off. Let's put that back on. So they're really, really nice little carabiners. Now going back to these, the reason I carry these on the front is because these are the ones I put my hydrolyte in. So I can keep myself hydrated as I go. Even though I've got my water bladder in the back of my pack, it's always good to have this one on the front. And I know that if this is on the front, I'm going to be using it and drinking the hydrolyte and getting my daily intake and I know when I get to the shelter I can always top it up and make another one. So that is the Hydro Pack, uh, what was it called again, do you remember? The Hydro Pack Stash 1 litre flexible bottle. Great for saving space, it's great for saving weight. No, it not, cannot be used in um, fires. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all and hit the thumbs up button the like button so and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much